Hey guys, so today we're going to see how we will we can script Zomato and uh, Zomato restaurant listings. Um, let's get into it. Um, I have a URL here. Let's see if we can get some pizza, right? Makes me hungry. Pizza. Let's Google it in Delhi and CR where I live. These are all the pizza based restaurants. So let's see if we can scrape that. This is the boilerplate code we're going to use. There is a beautiful soup and request object comes in with Python. Uh, request will get us the data. Beautiful soup will help us parse it. We'll use the user agent string as standard practice so that uh, we don't get blocked by rotating you know, by, by pretending to be a browser for a second. Uh, always wanted to do that. And then the URL will pass to the request.get function. With the headers, it will give us a response, response.content contains HTML, which will pass to beautiful soup and ask it to contain and uh, control it and, and make it an XML document so which you can query using the command soup.select. We can start doing whatever we want with it, like a jQuery selector here. Very, very powerful. So let's see what we can feed this beast. Let's see if Jamie's pizzeria. Is, is something that we can order from, shall we? Right, so let's see what contains all of this. Okay, there's, I need something which contains this whole block. I want to extract that. That's my first target at all times. So here we go. So content is pretty good as a target, I feel. But inside of that, there you go. I think I know what the rule is here. See, if you look at this, here we go. Search card. Each search card um, sort of contains the search results, doesn't it? Search snippet card. Pick, pick, make a choice. You can, you can pick any of that. And then it contains the search result. So all we got to do is to get that is to go there and pick one okay so let's just pick search card this makes sense to me and use the dot operator to say that this is a class name is it a class name yeah it is class division class this always gives a array so we're going to preempt that and do a for for each loop on it for item in this it will give us the item and each of those items, let's print it, each of those items contains the HTML for those blocks. Right? Each of these blocks that you see here becomes an item object for me. So I will print it and then I print a separator here so that I can tell. Then I'm going to call it script z py. And then go here and say python3 script z.py. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We got it. See this. You can see this is a search card. That's what we wanted to split it by. And then we have, and you can see even the content here. We could have done it with that as well. Okay. We could even even done with search result. Right. All those are pretty clear indicators. So let's go back here. It's a lot more pleasant. And <laughs> Here, let's see if we can get the title, shall we? Right, pretty, pretty simple. Um, all we got to do is get anything, result title, result title. Let's just get the result title. That's the anchor element. So I'm going to call it item dot, not soup dot. So we get only query within that particular block and select. And then I'm going to go, um, we call that um I forgot it's result title yeah result title okay dot we gotta put the dot over here result title dot uh this gives an array always so i'm gonna preempt uh, and get the first result of that array even though there's only one item you know that but still and then let's print this okay Instead of printing all that ugly HTML, so which we're going to send it. 
and let's see if you, this should result in the titles. Here we go, we got it. JMS is area included. All right, not so good, that place. It's okay. Let's see, what else can we get? Can we get the link? We need the link. Let's just get the link. It's the same exact thing, I think. Wait. If you look at it, this is an anchor tag. We just get the href of it. So the way to do it is just copy paste. And instead of get text, we don't need the text. We just need the href. Attribute. That's the way to do it. Print it. Should be able to print the, the thing itself. The URLs also. There you go. Individual URLs. What else can we get? Can we get some rating? And all that. Let's go get. Can I, we need ratings, of course. So let's see what the ratings are talking about. Class equals rating pop up, isn't it? Ah, too easy. Rating pop up. Let's just get rating pop up and see what happens. Rating pop up. You don't need to understand in question why they named it that way. There you go. Just trim that with lots of space. Just use a strip command. To strip out all their white space around it, and then it makes it neater. There you go. All right. So those are all the ratings. Can we get the number of votes or whatever this is? Expect hmm. rating votes. Rating votes. Fair enough. Um, Here's a funny thing though, rating votes division has a weird number next to it, okay? So I'm going to show you a trick as to how to get something like that where it's not a clear full full string. There's a technique to get it, okay, I'm just going to get it. Rating votes so is a class name, so what we'll do is remove this sort of dot notation and make it class equals rating words but it's not an equal is it so we're going to do a star equal that means it has to have the words in it it's like a wild card let's see what happens that's the technique so many words okay and that's the technique you use star equals is the operator used when you want to say that the string contains this then you give me this okay do we need anything else do we need the east of kailash or something let's do that yeah, what is that? Um, search page subzone. Okay, that's the that's the class name. So let's just get that. Put that there. Take that here. Take this here. Take that out of here. Simple, simple. Class name subzone. What else can we get? We want to get cuisines. Cost for two. Yeah, cost for two. Did we get price already? No, we didn't. So, rest cost. Very simple, rest cost. Okay, let's get to rest cost, shall we? Rest cost. Okay, let's see what we got so far. Cost for two, we got it. Cost for two. And the address and the votes and the and the rating and the URL and the name. Isn't that pretty cool? So that's you can keep going like this. So that's how guys you can scrape all the crucial details uh, from 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 Zomato. And uh, but if you want to really scale it and not get blocked by people like Zomato, Swiggy, whoever. Uh, you need to rotate the user agent string guys so there's another video which teaches you that so check it in the description there'll be a link go there it's a crucial thing to always know um, get that code from that video and uh, just uh, use that code if you want but please do understand by watching it also you will need to rotate your ip addresses because eventually your ip address is the biggest giveaway that who about uh, that you are a single person trying to scrape all sorts of things so if you really want to scrape at scale 
you want to have a rotating proxy service like proxy cpi okay so i own the service full disclosure of course and my channel name itself is that and proxy cpi is a proxy api for web scraping basically pass the zomato url or whatever url here to our endpoint and we will proxy through a couple of million residential ip addresses proxy services uh, which are private high-speed proxies uh, and get you the data we'll retry till we get you the data automatically you won't even know it and we automatically handle browser rotation all sorts of things that apart from authorization that you need to do be able to reliably scrape uh, solve captures for example javascript rendering session handling um you know cookie handling all sorts of things uh and javascript rendering in case there is an ajax sort of script zomato doesn't sort of have that but if you lots of websites have ajax rendering which fetches the data after the page loads so we can do that and give you the data uh, which you can't do from the normal fetch so that's how you really really scale it if you really want to do it in production otherwise even for hobby you can enjoy this i hope you understood and learned a lot i enjoyed teaching this uh, thank you thanks for watching